Okay, because we pick up this MOSFET, I will say let's do something better. Mm. You know how you can improve like any electronic components? Improve? Yeah. But they are not perfect? You, you, you can improve them? It is perfect, but all about 100 degrees. At 100 degrees, I have like half, this can carry half current. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So how can you improve that? Not going to 100 degrees. Yeah, but he's going. I cannot control that. I mean, I can control by, you know, lowering the current. Maybe I don't want to lower the current and I don't want to have 100 degrees. Hmm? How we can do that? Hmm. Uh, with the resistance? Resistor? No, but I don't want to limit the current. I just don't want my MOSFET to sit at 100 degrees. Just lower the voltage then. Yeah, but I don't want that. Then change it. <laughs> <laughs> What about a heat sink to get rid of the heat? You think it will be a good idea? Uh, maybe, but what's the point? What's the point to get rid of the heat? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the same reason why we have heaters in the room. Yeah? It's a heat exchanger on the same way. So using a heat sink, that's the best way to lower the temperature of something, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we have here a heat sink. It's a small one, but it will help us just to keep the, the MOSFET in the, in the performance. Also have in mind, yeah? If you are not using a heat sink, the MOSFET can go up to like 150 degrees. 150 degrees, it will get burned. So the temperature, it's important. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Now let's solder the MOSFET with the light bulb. All right, but how how do I know which one is the... Same pins like with the other MOSFET. Same pins? Yeah. Uh, I can't remember which one was. You just have the schematic here. Oh. Yeah, that's the schematic. They are, they are telling you which are the pins. This is one, two, three. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have one, yeah. two, three here one, on the two, bottom. Three. One, two, three. So the first one is the gate. Yeah. The second one is the drain. And the third one is the source. source. Yeah. Yes. You see? Yeah. So um, I think we uh, put this on the gate. That means this will go here on the gate, right? You don't ask me. You just seen the schematic. Ask the schematic. Is like a Siri. It will reply me back. No, hey, schematic. You, you can read. You can read. <laughs> All right. And now you have the light bulb. And we have the light bulb, which is going... Uh, you want our schematic? Yeah, here. <sighs> and you're going to put the light bulb? Yeah, light bulb, here. Yeah, so it's gonna, plus is going to be to the drain. The light bulb doesn't have plus. Oh, it doesn't have plus. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have plus. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah. The drain is on the middle. Yeah. Okay. And this one is going to be here. Yeah.
It's not there you go. It's not there you go. It, um, you have one pin from the MOSFET, it's not connected. Yeah, th this one is going here. Ah, okay. You can solder. More flux. No more flux, I need more. Oh, okay, okay. It's working. Of course it's working. Now you have plus and minus here. Yeah. Uh, so this one is here. Yes. And this one is here. Hey! And it's working. We have light. So if you are just the, the potentiometer. Brighter, brighter, and then ooh. just just sit at four hundred milliamps. Oh. You remember the the transistor; it was getting hot at four hundred milliamps. Check this MOSFET. See, it is getting hot. Like uh, hey, just touch the heat sink. No. No, because now we have a MOSFET instead of the transistor. Mm -hmm. And the second, we have a we are controlling the duty cycle. Okay, so I choose the duty cycle. You can see. Yeah, that's the minimum. No. Oh, no, there that's the minimum yeah. when it's nothing. And then it's starting. Boom! Brighter, brighter, brighter. Even more? More. There you go. I think that's the maximum. Yeah, looks like. Oh. Yeah. That's the maximum. And go back. That's so cool. So you see, it's, it's kind of kind of inverse, yeah? Because you are, we are checking this signal. Wait one second. We are checking this signal on uh, on the on the drain. So you can see you'll think, yeah. To check here, you'll think, okay, this is the on time actually, yeah, and this is zero. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check on the gate. So this is the gate. So you can see actually this is the on time and this, and this is, is the yeah, zero. Yeah. 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 I try now. Yeah, try now. So you can see it's getting brighter and the on time is getting wider. Mm -hmm. You can see the on time? Yeah. On off. So here is zero volts. One second. Here is zero volts, here is 12. Yeah. Okay. Interesting? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you spot something. I don't know if you spot the frequency. Yeah. So what the frequency is there? What frequency is there? Now it's 433 hertz. Hertz, yeah? Yeah. And goes up, go up, change the duty cycle. It's going to 900. Here? Yeah. <clears throat> now it's going lower. So now it's four, 400 hertz. So you see, this is something which we don't want. That's the reason why the, uh, the, the 
on this day, no one is using something like that. So we are changing the duty cycle, but also the frequency is changing. changing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And we are not looking to change the frequency, only the duty cycle. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is not perfect, but it's working. And indeed, you can see the frequency is shifting, which yeah. is not supposed to happen. I see. Now, what do you think it will happen if I will change the light bulb with an electric motor? With an electric motor? Yeah. But you, you, you will need more current, more voltage. Why? Okay, let's do it. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, what? Oh, you mean an electric motor? A, a small electric motor. But what do you think? Like a car? <laughs> yes. Like our car electric motor? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get one. So here we have an electric motor. So this is a fan. But obviously... But why did not say that from the beginning? Why? Why if I replace with a fan? Electric motor. Yeah, so, it has an electric motor. Look, like a brushless yeah, but electric when you, motor. When you say motor... You, I mean, in my mind, it was like a big thing, you know? <laughs> okay, let's replace the light bulb with this. All right. So, i take this off. Take this. Take this off. The fan has plus and minus, so um, you can see by the red and mm -hmm. black. Yes. So the plus is going to the um, drain here. Check one more time. No, I'm not checking it. No, check one more time. Because what you are saying, it's a little bit impossible. So you have an electric motor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which electric motor, the plus is here and the minus is here, because obviously okay. the plus has to be to the plus. Sorry. Yes, yeah, sorry, yes. but you know, if we connect on the other way, it will get burnt. <laughs> Remember, I told you for some reason, I believe you'll uh, you'll uh, you'll learn only when you burn things, <laughs> when you see smoke, when you get burned, when you get electrocuted. <laughs> yes. Not yet there, not yet, but uh, you know, we will, at some point we'll have to move. Yeah. We'll study the. High voltage power supplies, to study the relays. Mm -hmm. And Voila! Are you hot? No, change the... <laughs> change the speed. Oui. Uh, you have to put closer to the microphone, yes. Because we can oh. hear it. And then... Now it's better. Yeah. And switch it on the other way. So you can adjust. Yeah. But why does that did not stop? Yeah, just switch it max. Yeah, all, all the way. No, on the other way. Max. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like the sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you understand what you can do with a PWM? Uh, yeah. Generator, mm -hmm. you can control any anything, yeah. Yeah. Efficient. That's the idea. 
because even the linear, uh, you remember the transistor, uh, even that one is working, but this one is a lot more efficient and give you more precise control just by changing the duty cycle. Yeah. Good.